Am I the astronaut for calling the cops on my mother? So I, 22 female, received a visit from my mom for New Year's. She came with one of my cousins and we hung out for a couple of days and it was great. The only time things were bad was when she asked if I could loan her about $500 and she promised to cash at me the money back when she got paid next time. I told her no. She tried to argue with me, but I shut her down and she let it go. I logged on to my credit card account online to pay my balance since my check came through that morning and I saw that my balance was much higher than I had expected. There were three charges I expected, my electric bill, my phone bill, and some gas, and then several charges I knew weren't from me. They were for fast food, clothing places, etc. Thought it might be a glitch, so I called my credit card company and checked my wallet for my card. I realized that it was missing and a nice customer service rep helped me with the whole process. But then I started walking through everyone whom my wallet had been around and every place it had been left since my last physical use of it. I ended up texting my mom because it was stressing me out and I felt like I needed to talk to one of my parents. But dad and I aren't on great terms. When I told my mom what happened, she told me not to worry and that it wasn't stolen. She had just borrowed it. If you borrow something without telling someone, that's stealing it, right? I just, I just borrowed it without letting you know. I was keeping it safe from you. Red flag for that. To be honest, I did lose my cool once I realized she wasn't joking. She insisted she'd cash at me the money when she gets paid the next day and that she thought she'd be able to handle it before I even noticed. I told her that's not acceptable and to cut up my card. I deactivated it anyway. She got upset and told me to stop throwing a fit and that she couldn't believe I was being such a brat about helping her. Things escalated from there and I did call her some names before telling her not to contact or come around me and hung up. After that, I called the police both in my area and in hers to see which precinct I needed to file charges with. My mom has blown up my phone so much th so much since this that I had to block her and she is posting all over Facebook about how I'm getting her thrown back in jail just for borrowing some money and how she can't understand how she raised such a stingy child. Am I the Askinaut or losing my mind? I don't think I did anything wrong here. You didn't. You didn't do anything wrong. The, this is uh, <laughs> the fact that your mom. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. The fact that the narrative that your mom is posting on Facebook is, I can't believe my stingy little shit of a child is getting me thrown back in the slammer. Back in the slammer. All I did was borrow some money without telling, without saying anything. Didn't realize it would be such a big deal. What? Oh, okay, so everybody who's connected with her and is seeing this narrative is like, yep, seems about right. No one, no one in the world thinks that you've done anything wrong here. Know that right now. Your mom doesn't even think you've done anything wrong here. She's just surprised that you, her own flesh and blood, turned her in. That's it. She's just surprised that, uh, that she can't even screw over her own family without them speaking up. My goodness. No, you did the right thing here. Um, and now you know. Now you know that you, you can't even trust her. You can't even trust your own mom, which sucks. But at least you know now. The question here was, am I, am I the asking for calling the cops on my mother? Hell no. No, no, no. And your mom, your mom, we're taking her all the way up to ask on one because this was a terribly, a terribly? It's where I'm at, folks. Brain is like scrambled eggs right now. Mom is a terrible person. She knows she's a terrible person and she's accepted this. Like it's just her lot in life to be a terrible person and to do terrible things. And that sucks to be to be connected to someone in your immediate family who has just accepted that their lot in life is to uh, is to screw over everyone that they've ever known and continue doing so and have no inclination of breaking that cycle at all and to be a victim of life. Right. That's the part of this that pisses me off. The worst is your mom, at least outwardly, blames you for getting thrown back in jail. Like, it wasn't her choices that did this. It was you that did this. Just, you just, you're going to have to build up a wall, and you probably have. You built up a wall already to make sure that, that none, of the, none of her bullshit can actually get through and affect you. Which, bravo, because you seem, you seem fairly well adjusted, given the circumstances here but yes the, the the brass tacks of it are that you can't trust your own mother she's going to stay with you so you have to keep her at arm's length 